Hey, what's up YouTube? Man, I'm back. Look, I'm getting ready to go to an all day event tomorrow. And um, you know, I usually don't pack my bag every day. I usually keep the same amount of gear in it, same stuff, cause I'm just a mundane dude like that. But uh, I, I was doing that and I was like, you know what? Let me show y'all what's up with my bag. I know other people have done a what's in my bag video. So I figured, why not? So let me bring my bag up here. Ugh. Man, I do not pack light. But I'm telling you, it's really not that interesting. So it's a spoiler alert. So this right here, you know what? I'm kind of a bag whore too. I got a lot of different bags between messengers and backpacks and camera bags uh, galore. But this by far has been my like favorite bag of all time. Now it did not come like this. This is actually a Samsonite Xenon. Um, it's, I guess it's their Xenon series. It had a little black and red trimming on it, right? And uh, it, it had all the compartments that I wanted, but it, it was missing some features because no bag that I've ever found has been perfect. I've always had to do some type of customization. So as far as customization goes, you know I've got my Advocare logo here because that's how I rock and roll with Advocare products. I'm a distributor, it's what I do. So I need to, you know, put my promotion right there. Let me put that right there so you don't see it. But um, also on here, it has these two, uh, these two loops right here that I've actually hand sewn on. It actually looks like it came with the bag because I'm good like that. But these did not come on the bag as well. So as far as customizations to the bag, these loops right here and uh, this Advocare logo, that's pretty much it. Uh, aside from that, the bag has pretty much everything that I would want except maybe one or two other things like a... Uh, like a hard shell space for like headphones or something or maybe some sunglasses that would be cool um, That's actually what this is for, but it's not hard. It's not like a case But uh, as far as everything else man this bag has suited all my needs for at least a year And like I said, I'm a bag whore so I can go to through two or three bags in a year All right, so let's take a tour on the outside of the bag because you're probably gonna want to pick this up man I would recommend this bag to anybody starting off with the front man. We're gonna go into this front pocket now look I got some personal stuff in here, man. So you gonna see what's in my bag. I don't want nobody judging me or nothing like that. This is how I roll on a daily basis. This is the real deal. I didn't pack this thing up specifically for this video. This is just how I roll. So let's start with the front of the bag. Um, and open this up, see what I got in here. There's a little pouch right here. You can't see it cause it's got this lip. You got your zipper right here. By the way, all the zippers are high quality, man. And they actually have a little loop right there so you can lock them um, pretty much. All of these big pockets are unlockable. Like if you uh, put a little traveling lock on there, so that's cool. Um, but if you ran like a, a cable or something through here, you could just lock the whole bag up if you wanted. But let's go through this pocket, man. Let's just dump it out. We're gonna see what's in here together. Some of these pockets, you know, I only go through when I need something. All right, so we got my, oh man, I love this knife. This is my M-Tech knife. I actually did a review on this, my great gifts for him video. Love this knife, gots to travel with it. It's served multiple purposes for me. I just like doing that. That's just cool as hell, man. All right, let's just put this down before I hurt myself. Then uh, I keep a, I keep a, I call it a Gerbil tool because that's what we used to call it in, in the military, but it's actually a Leatherman. And uh, I keep this just because, you know, I might need some pliers. This, I do it mainly for the pliers. That's usually what I need. But it's got, you know, it's a multi-tool, so it's got a screwdriver and all this other stuff in there. So I keep that in there too, even though it does have a knife, but I just like this one. That's some cool stuff. Okay, I'm putting it away, I promise. Okay, anyways, let's dig a little deeper in here. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's just empty out the pocket. All right, that's everything. Okay, cool. This is me all the way. Chapstick, it's got to be the blue kind because everything else just makes my lips feel weird. So it's got to be this blue chapstick right here. I'm gonna put that right there. Y'all go get you some chapstick, man. Don't be walking around with your lips all ashy and stuff. All right, so now we got some dental floss, okay? You keep you some dental floss, cause you never know, you might be at like Jason's Deli or something. Uh oh, you might be at Jason's Deli or something grubbing on a sandwich. Now you got lettuce and crap all in your teeth, trying to go talk to that hot girl or guy or just, you know, hanging out with friends. And for some reason, people let you go on for hours talking to people, smiling all up in their faces, and you got bread and lettuce and stuff all up in your teeth, sunflower seeds all up in the crevices. People just rude like that. They just wanna see you fail. So keep your dental floss, man. So that's that. Now this right here, this is nice ice. This is actually an advocate product. Uh, this is that some, some of that breast spray. Let me get some of that. That is some hardcore peppermint, wow. Okay, I keep this in here because I talk to a lot of people and I gotta be kinda on all day. Now, if you're gonna go through the trouble of flossing your teeth, you might as well keep some fresh breath because nobody wants to talk to somebody with stank breath, drop kicking you all up in your face. Oh, that's just awful. Have you, no, I'm not even gonna go to that. 
into that. So that's my uh, breath freshener right there. And that pocket is officially empty. So let's just kind of put all this stuff over there. So we're gonna call that my personal effects pocket. And now let's open up this other one. This one's a little bigger. This is actually the pocket I end up going into the most. So we're just gonna start from the top, go all the way to the bottom. All right, so we got some headphones here. These are my favorite workout headphones, actually. These are the Jaybird, um, I forgot what these are called. These are Jaybird X's, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, they're Jaybirds. <laughs> the J this is the older version. I think there's three versions out of these. Jaybird Freedom, Jaybird X, I cannot remember. But I love these headphones. They don't have a long battery life, man. I'll give them that. I think you can get about two to four hours. And if yours are as old as mine, and these aren't that loud either. So um, when you crank them up all the way and, and uh, you know, you jam and you got about two or three hours of battery life on these. So I keep these on deck in this case. And then also in here, I got some Skull Candy, uh, some Skull Candy earbuds, you know, just in case I got somebody wanting to listen something with me or cause they're wired headphones uh, or my Jaybirds, uh, you know, they wear out and I still want to listen to music. But that's if uh, I got some other headphones in here, but these are if I want to listen to, you know, music and kind of just be inconspicuous because sometimes headphones just don't, you know, fit the bill. You don't want big old headphones on your head. Sometimes earbuds are just what you need. All right. Now, if you notice, I got this black and red case on here, man, because I love black and red. It's just my thing. All right. So what else we got in here? All right. We got... This is, uh, what is this? This has got to be an anchor. Yes, this is anchor. I've covered up all the labels and everything with my red and black dress up. But man, this is 26,000 milliamps of battery power. It's uh, It's got three ports to charge three different devices via USB. Uh, it's got a little flashlight on there. I don't know why they put flashlights on these things. Who uses that? But uh, 26,000, I think it's 26,500 milliamps. You gotta get you one of these. If you ain't got a big one, I know they have those little ones like five or 10,000 milliamps. But man, you, you know, if you're rolling out with people or you got a bunch of devices like I do, you need one of these. 3,000, uh, three, three ports, and it's actually, it's not fast charge, but it's uh, it'll charge at the fastest capacity. That's what they call this IQ charge or whatever. I love this thing, man. Uh, I've been rocking with this one for about two years and it still holds a charge and it still does what it needs to do. I've run a Galaxy Note 4, my Galaxy Note 7, and my Galaxy S7 uh, off this thing, my tablet. I've charged up my headphones and stuff. Just You just gotta have one with a large capacity. So that's my large capacity battery charger right there. All right, so we got a couple of pins in here. Let me see. This one's stuck, so if I was ever in a hurry, I'd be screwed. All right, so we got a couple of pins in there and you got to keep some USB charging cables. Uh, I got a long one and a short one. The short one is because, uh, why do I have a short one? I don't know, just for utility purposes. But the long one is usually what I plug this, uh, my battery charger into. That way you can still kind of use the phone because you got that long cord. But I use this one when I'm basically connecting something like you know two devices or something like that. So I keep those in the front, uh, just you know for easy reachability. All right, what else we got in here? Uh, Ooh, OTG, gotta keep that in this pocket because you know I reach for it a lot and I don't wanna keep it buried in, in my other little compartment I'm gonna show you right here. But this is an OTG that actually came with my Samsung Galaxy S7. I think this actually came with the Note 7, maybe both. I can't remember. Anyways, let's put that there. And then we got, this is a portable hotspot from Sprint. Uh, I'm an on-the-go person. Wherever I am, that's where my office is. So I'm always gonna need some Wi-Fi. I have a, um, a Surface Pro 3 in here that I operate off of. And you know, I got my tablet, so I always gotta have some Wi-Fi because sometimes I just don't wanna use my phone as a hotspot because yeah, I'm with Sprint and you cannot use Sprint service. So and, oh, let, let me just back up. With Sprint service, you can't talk on the phone and surf the internet at the same time. Sprint, you need to fix that, man. If anybody at Sprint is watching this video, y'all need to fix that mess, man. That's trashy. Y'all used to have it like that back when I had my Evo 4G. Uh, LTE, that was a badass phone. And then y'all just cut me off at some point and maybe it was a Galaxy Note 2. Cause I know, I, yeah, it's probably a Galaxy Note 2 where I could do that. Then I moved up to the Galaxy Note 4 and I know she couldn't do it no more. So now I just have a Wi-Fi hotspot, man. So I gotta keep that on me. And then we have, you got to keep that beard looking fresh and fluffy. You know what I'm saying? So I got my beard pick here. Uh, you just, yeah, yeah, keep the beard pick. Let's see, what else is in here? Uh, got a little change. I ain't gonna count my change for y'all. But then we got my Galaxy uh, S2 8.0 tablet. Gots to have this thing. Um, what do I use this for? People always wonder, okay, you got this big old smartphone, you got a laptop or a computer, what do you need a tablet for? 
Uh, I do a lot of stuff on my tablet, man. Uh, especially, you know, consuming media like YouTube and stuff like that, playing games and stuff like that. You know, that's just for leisure. But a lot of times I actually conduct business with my tablet because it's just, it's just an easier experience when you're exchanging, you know, tablet versus a laptop. Some, you know, it has its need. And it's one of those things where you just gotta have one and put it to work uh, before you start judging it. You know what I mean? You just need to get one. But some people say, you know, you don't need a tablet, but I do. I actually use mine quite a bit. And you notice I got the Samsung case on here, the slim case, and it's got that black and red trim. Cause that's just how I roll, man. I like, you know, black and red trim. Let's move away from that pocket. Let's go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go up in here in this small little compartment. So I vlog, right? On my other channel, you'll notice I, I vlog quite a bit on my fitness channel and um, on my fitness channel and my, my personal vlog channel. So I keep a couple of items in here. Look, if you are any kind of tech, you will keep you some uh, microfiber cleaning cloths on here. I actually keep mine in my camera compartment because I want to keep that lens and that screen nice. But uh, this, I'm going to do a video on all my camera and uh, tech equipment too. Uh, this is a Sam, not Samsung. This is a um, Sony A5100. Man, I love this camera. It's so small. You saw it comes out of this little bitty pocket right here. I mean, this pocket is actually pretty good size, but I have this particular camera because I like to vlog and it has that flip up screen. So I can just whip it out like that and just take a selfie or, you know, start vlogging. But you know, it's our phone cameras, they do a good job, but you cannot beat uh, mirrorless or a real DSLR. DSLR, I can't even say it. You cannot beat a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. Uh, so I always like to keep this thing on deck. Uh, this thing right here, it competes with a lot of DSLRs, man. Uh, I also have an A, I'm actually filming this on an A6000. Um, they're pretty much the same camera. One just has features that the other one doesn't have. Um, one just has features that the other one just doesn't have. So that's why I have both. But I like to keep my um, 16 millimeter 2.8 lens on here. And one, because it's a pancake lens, it is super small. So it keeps a low profile to fit in this pocket. And it's good for vlogging because it's got that super wide angle. And yeah, so that's my camera. I keep it in that compartment right there. All right, let me see. Okay, let me see, What's what else is in here? Uh, that's it for that pocket. All right, let's go into the big old pocket. All right, so this is the main compartment right here. And hopefully I can open this up without my bag collapsing on me. All right, let's just open it up, start digging in. Let's go from the back to the front. All right, so I got my little notebook right here. If somebody loves me out there, you will send me a black and red uh, little cover of it like this so I can put it on my, on my notepad. This is just where I keep paper notes. I'm actually kind of a, you know, a guy who doesn't use a lot of paper, but when I do, I keep it up in here. So I always keep a pen and uh, this little thing with me right here for my notes and stuff that I need to just jot down real quick when I can't open an app or don't feel like opening an app or something. Keep all my notes in the cloud, that way I don't lose them. Uh, let me see here, oh, look. All right, so this has nothing to do with tech, but if you wanna live life and be awesome, read this book multiple times in your life. I actually keep this book in this bag because uh, I like to, I've read it several times and I just keep going back and you know checking out stuff in the book because it is so meaningful. Um, Chop Wood, Carry Water by Joshua Metcalf. Great story, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Uh, it's about 100 pages. Um, so if you're a quick reader, maybe an hour or so. It took me two days because I took my time. I wanted to absorb it. Great book, fantastic book, get it. All right, let me see, what else is in here? That pocket's empty. And uh, okay, so like I said, I'm an AdvoCare distributor and I own a fitness business. So I keep my little uh, business cards right here. I don't carry around those little, you know, tiny little business cards. This is my business card, big. Cause you don't throw this away, man. You gotta look at it before you toss it, okay? So that just does not go straight into the trash. Then I keep some brochures, wait, business cards. Then I keep some brochures for my products here. We got, you know, our Rehydrate and we got our performance products. Uh, then we got some weight management and healthy gut start products here. So I just keep a couple of bro brochures in this file thing right here. Uh, you, there's like a little file, fo uh, file folio in here. I'll show you when I'm done with this, uh, when I'm done pulling everything out, but it kind of keeps everything organized, which I'm not doing a very good job of right here. Uh, let's go into the next big section, my headphones. So I recently got some Bluteo headphones, right? Uh, I have like four or five sets of headphones. These actually turned out to be really nice to travel with, like on a day-to-day -day basis. They came in this black and red case. I don't know, maybe that's what attracted me to it. But uh, 
Anyway, these are the Bootio Vinyls. Not the Vinyl Plus, the Bootio Vinyl. I've already reviewed these headphones, so I won't stay in too far in depth with them, but man, they are super portable when you put them in this case. They don't fold up, they just lay flat in that case. And uh, they sound so good. And in public, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to stand out too much. You know what I mean? I'm already a big guy. I kind of call attention to myself. But, you know, when you put on some headphones in public, I don't want to have on no big old bright blue or bright red headphones. I don't want anything that make me look, you know, like I'm just out of character or whatever. So when I saw these and I put them on my head, I was like, cool, because they look very... I, is professional a word for headphones? Like, you know, I know they have studio quality and stuff like that, but you know, I, I look like I could still be a grown up wearing these headphones. So they suit my lifestyle perfect, you know, as far as traveling. Anyways, these are the Bluteo vinyls. Love them. They sound great and they're super portable. They come with this little pouch with all the wires and stuff in there. So I'm all hooked up with my headphones. Like, if I'm gonna be at a car wash or something, waiting on my car to be done, or, you know, just somewhere I can whip these out, still look classy and uh, get all the bass and the sound quality I need from these headphones right here. So, moving right along, let's see here. We got my man Froto. Uh, this is a tripod, what do they call this? I think it's the Pixie Evo. This is, they have a Pixie, then they have a Pixie Evo. This is the Evo because now the legs can extend. Now this is a great vlogging, let me put this over to the side just a little bit. This is a great vlogging tripod, simply because, let me get a camera. All right, so you got your camera, right? and you don't want to do the whole thing like that because it's just awkward anyways. Uh-oh, hold on. Just lay this down. Okay, so you don't want to do the thing like this because it's just kind of awkward anyways when you're kind of holding the camera like that. So what you do is it's got this little, this little uh, grippy wheel right here and you just stick your camera right there and you turn it. You ain't got to spin your camera around or nothing like that. Well, let me line it up. There it is. Okay, so you can put it on there just like that. Oh, I like things straight from OCD. Uh, just like that. And now what you have is a monopod, okay? Not a selfie stick. Don't be using that word. It's not a selfie stick, it's a monopod. Anyways, so what you can do is loosen this up, turn it, and you can face it like that. And you can do all your little selfie work like that. Especially if you got a, a 5100, you can just angle it any way you want to. But man, this tripod is so awesome. Let me, uh, let me lock this back up. I'll take it off, detach it from the camera. No, let me leave it here. So what I really like about it is, so it opens up just like that, right? Now let's just say you got an uneven surface. I should just be reviewing this stuff all different, you know, at different videos, but here it is. So you got an uneven surface. What you can do is just, you know, adjust it as needed. So I can have this one out like that, that one out like that. It has these little rubber grippy feet right here. Or if you want a super low profile, let me scoot this over. If you want a super low profile, there's a little switch right here. You can just switch it. Then it opens up and the camera is almost on the ground. It's like four inches away from the ground. So I really like this thing because it's so versatile. Um, like I said, monopod, just like that. Or, you know, you got a little desk tripod that can actually be adjusted. You can adjust it, uh, you know, to be taller or whatever. I just like it. So I got to keep, keep it in my bag. Hold on, let me fix it up and then I'm gonna put it down. Got me talking about this camera and this tripod. I can stay on this all day. All right, so let's go into the next little piece of equipment I have in here. All right, let's just empty this thing out. So I won't have to dig in here no more. Okay, more personal effects. Okay, before, before we get there, I got an extra battery for my camera, okay? Uh, this, is, uh, this is actually the Wasabi Power. Wasabi Power, um, they make a lot of different batteries for stuff. I got one, I got a set for my GoPro, extra batteries, and I got a couple of extra batteries for my Sony's. They both use the same battery, so that's cool. Uh, this is actually a cell phone attachment, a, fart, a, fart, a smartphone attachment to put on any tripod. You just open it up, it's adjustable and squeezes right there. So um, if you want to do a video with your phone, put it on any tripod just like that and it'll hook up to your phone. If you want to do like a Facebook Live or uh, what's that stuff that Twitter has? Uh, I forget, the Twitter video live feed. Then I got my personal stuff, man. I got some lotion. I keep the lotion in the Ziploc bag because there's nothing worse than traveling or doing something. Reaching your bag, you got all this lotion all over the place. And I don't like being ashy. So, got the lotion right there. Now here, is I, I keep in my, uh, my spark, mental focus and energy, man. I have to keep that in my bag because one, it's for personal use. Sometimes I'm just, you know, down and sleepy or whatever and I need some focus and energy. I'll drink one myself. And two, if I see somebody in public look like they falling asleep, I'm like, hey man, drink that, have a spark, be awesome. So 
That is the entire big pocket. Now, last but not least, we'll go into the uh, TSA friendly checkpoint side of this bag. And in here we got a couple of things. So I used to have my surface pan stuck onto my, uh, onto my surface, but the little sticky thing came off of there. So I'm now left with the pan. I'll put that back in there. Then I got the surface, uh, the surface mouse. I love this mouse for the specific reason that it does this. Is that cool or what? It's just flat and then it's not, but it, it works great. I love the way it works. Uh, so I'm going to dump that back in there. This right here, if you're a techie and you carry around a lot of tech, this is pretty much mandatory, okay? I forget who this is made by. Okay, BUM, B-U-M, B-U-M, I'm sorry, B-U-B-M, uh, Be Unique, Be Myself. That's what that means. Anyways, look it up. Uh, you open this thing up. It's a soft pouch feeling kind of thing, but you open it up, oh man, and then you have glory every all of your tech wires and stuff like that it's all organized let me just put this right here we'll run through it real fast because i got a lot of stuff in here i got a 3.5 millimeter y cable so i can share my audio i got a 3.5 millimeter uh male to male right there i got another usb or micro usb right there um what is this this is actually no i'm not gonna get into that um then I got a micro SD card reader for the specifically made for the Surface Pro 3. Um, I've got an OTG adapter right here, SD card. I got my PayPal, uh, my PayPal thing. So if you if you need to give me some money, I'm getting it. You ain't getting away without giving me my money. I keep that right there. I got an OTG adapter right there. Um, then I got all my Surface Pro 3 peripherals. Like I got the the deal that you can where you can mirror your screen onto a projector or something. Uh, I got the HDMI deal right there. I got an HDMI cable. Uh, let's see what else I keep in here. Uh, Chromecast. You know, um, I would suggest if you're a techie man and you like to do a lot of stuff that's mobile, you just keep a Chromecast on you. Uh, I do have Chromecast on my TV and stuff, but I keep a Chromecast on me because you never know what you need to set up at a hotel or something like that and you, you realize you forgot it at home. So I just keep this thing in the bag. I mean, it's not expensive, so I just keep it in here. Then I got my projector remote. No, 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 this is a, this is a mouse pointer for my um, projector and presentations, uh, my PowerPoint presentations. So let me zip this back up, close this thing up. But seriously, if you don't have one of these and you walk around with a bunch of wires just stuffed in the bag, you're doing yourself an injustice and you're disrespecting your tech. So get yourself a little bag from Bum Equipment right here and uh, keep that in there and see it's nice and thin. It slides right in that little pocket. Now let's go through the brains of this operation. This is pretty much where I do everything. If it's not happening on my tablet, um, all my hard work happens on this Surface Pro 3, man. Uh, they've come out with a, a four and they're about to come out with a five. Now, I kind of, I'm kind of digging the five, but if the reason why I didn't upgrade to the Surface Pro, Pro 4 is because it just didn't seem like it was enough of an upgrade for me to spend another thousand dollars. I didn't even bother going to get the new, um, the new keyboard that came out with it, which is actually, uh, which actually works with the Surface Pro 3. Um, I just kept my Surface Pro 3, man. This is actually the cheap one. I forget what processor this is, but it's actually the, the least expensive one. Every video you've seen me do and edit and all of my work, all my business, everything I've done for the past two years maybe has been done on this computer, man. And it's amazing what this thing is capable of. I have a skin on here. I do not remember who makes this skin, but I've changed it a couple of times. But man, if you are on the fence about getting a Surface, you know, going from a tablet to laptop, because it kind of does both. Hey, everything you've seen me do, I do all my work on this thing for the last two years. It's been amazing. And uh, I can't wait for the five to come out because I think now I do need a little bit more horsepower in my computer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the big one, the expensive one, when it does come out, because I just need more horsepower. This has done me a lot of justice though. You just Velcro that thing back up. You've gone through your TSA checkpoint. And then let me zip this up so I can show y'all how this bag is. Uh-oh. All right, so last piece of tech on this bag. This right here, this is my JBL clip. All right, this is the old school version. They have like one or two more of these out, but I just like this one because I like the design. I really do not like the design of their newer uh, stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's just not me. But I love this thing, I keep it right here. Like I said, this is a custom made you know, little clip for me. Uh, I like this thing, I've gone to the beach with it, and I mean, I spent like a week on vacation 
just listening to this thing on the beach, man. It's awesome. If I go out on the patio, I'll probably take this with me too. Uh, this is probably my most, I have a few Bluetooth speakers, but this is my most commonly used Bluetooth speaker, man. I'll turn this thing on, it connects immediately. Bam, I'm jamming. All right, let me see. Now let's just go through the bag. All right, so you saw the front pocket here where I had all my, you know, let's just pack it up. How about that? So you saw where I had my personal effects, got my knives, let me see. Got my Gerber tool, floss, and uh, we're gonna keep that all right there. And then in this pocket, you saw I had all those items in here. So let's see what goes back in here. So we put this OTG back in there. We put my headphones back in there. And then my uh, 26,500 milliamp charger in there. My Wi-Fi in there. Oh, can't survive without my Afro pick for my beard. Got my two cables that I just need to keep handy. That's the only mess I have in this bag is these cables just sitting here. And that's all that goes in that compartment. Let's see. Now we're stepping back into the camera department. So let's just open this one back up. Got my microfiber cleaning cloth in there still. We're going to slide that camera right back in there where it came from. Back in your little house, baby. There you go. All right. Now let's open up the big compartment, the large one. Now let me let you see this because I promised I would. So it opens up just like that, super wide, right? You can get everything you need in there. It's got this mesh pocket right here. And that's where I put my lotion and my spark. All right, what else goes in there? Oh yeah, my, uh, my extra camera battery and then my um, cell phone holder right there. Now you got this folio right here. It's a one, two section folio. And that's where I'll keep uh, some of my other stuff. Hang on, hang on. Got to put this stuff back in here right. I got to stay organized because I'm OCD like that. All right, so we got my brochures. They go in the front. More brochures. And then I got my business cards in the front of the front. Got my book. And oh, I forgot to put my tablet up. Got my book and my notebook. They go in the back. All right. And then I got my Bluetooth headphones, my uh, vinyls. And then where'd my tripod go? Oh, there it is. Okay, got my tripod, it sticks right there. It just kind of posts up. You know what? Let me just post it up right there. All right, and that pocket is nice and secure. Did I leave anything out? Put that, stand you back up. All right, okay, so in this front pocket, my most mainly used pocket, I got my Galaxy S2. Is it S2? Gal I forget, anyways. And my pins, they go right there in their little home. Put you right there, baby girl. All right, zip that back up. Zip the top back up. Zip that back up. And man, if this ain't the sturdiest handle, this bag is not light, because I don't travel light. But uh, this thing, it, it holds, there's no rips in it or anything in uh, two years. I mean, it's, it's, it's done its damage. It's got its damage, but uh, man, it's got a nice kind of ballistic nylon uh, texture throughout the bag. And it's called the Xenon. Uh, made by Samsonite. Oh yeah, and it's got these two pockets right here for a water bottle or something. Uh, I wouldn't put anything valuable in there because the pocket has a slit back here. I've just never trusted it with anything other than a water bottle. But that's it, man. Now y'all have been nosy. Now you know what I'm packing around. So if y'all see me in the streets, don't be trying to jack me, man. Cause I got all this tech in here, but this is how I roll, man, on a daily basis. This is all my gear. Let me tell y'all what, I ain't never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews and letting y'all see what's in my bag. But before I go, I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button, smash on that subscribe button. Hey, but wait, make sure y'all follow me on social media, man. I got a Facebook, um, I got a Instagram, and I got a Twitter account specifically for this channel. So if y'all wanna see some stuff that's kind of off the camera, go ahead and follow me on social media. 